Hey folks, Crazy Clamorator here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Tenko Mori Shooting. And this was created by Namco in 1998. And this was suggested by YouTube user Namcot Enterprises. And this is a really, really cute uh, shoot 'em up, basically. But it's it's a skill game like, uh, uh, what was that game? Uh, Point Blank, also by Namco. And this is very similar, except it's not a like a light gun game. It's a shoot 'em up. For the most part, you just move around and you get to shoot the enemies. You move with the joystick. And uh, it's a cutesy game. You're a monkey, and you're trying to free, <laughs> you're trying to free your fellow monkeys from this tower. And this uh, evil witch is in charge of the tower. And uh, you need to destroy her, but you don't quite get a chance to destroy her unless you beat the hard level or the hard setting. There is easy, there's medium, and there's hard. And uh, I'm not good enough to beat uh, medium and hard, but these are some of the games that you get to play. And yeah, they're just little skill games. Uh, you can play one player or two player simultaneous play. There are all sorts of different types of games that you can play for each uh, <laughs> for each uh, setting, and there are uh, references to old Namco classic games. Zevius and Dig Dug and Galaga are in this. There might be references to other games, but I don't know. But there are just various little skill games. You use a joystick and you use a fire button, and that's it. And uh, there are like two, three, four, seventeen different games you can play on the easy setting. There's more for both the medium and hard settings. For easy, you only have to beat four stages. For uh, there's the the pukas from Dig Dug, and you have to inflate them until they explode, and you have to get a certain amount of them destroyed by the time the time runs out. If you get hit by the enemy, you're gonna uh, you're gonna just lose precious time. If you fail to meet the criteria of a game, then uh, you will lose a heart, and a heart represents a life. When you run out of hearts, your game's over. You can continue. We'll start on easy, and we'll look, we'll pick uh, one of these to start with. We're just, these are all the games that you can choose from in uh, easy setting. Let's go with the uh, Puka inflation game just have to shoot enough of those to make them blow up. And if you get hit, you just, you die, but you, you just lose precious time is all. How many can I inflate? And when you choose medium or harder levels, you have to inflate more. I only needed to inflate five, and I inflated ten. Success! You get particular bonuses for how fast you beat it, how many more than needed you beat it, whatever. And then you get to choose from other ones when you go up a floor in the castle. And again, the witch is at the, the top of the castle. You may not even, you won't have to face her at all in the, the easy setting. You don't really have to face her in medium, but you definitely do in hard. To get a good ending, you have to beat the whole thing, or you have to beat hard. And now this one, you just you shoot the enemies, and you try to make a chain explosion that takes out the other enemies. And there wasn't that much there, but you only have three shots. That was decent. Fire one more. Yeah, that was kind of lame, but that was way more than I needed. So, success again. But yeah, for the easy setting, you only have to beat uh, four, uh, four games. You can replay some of the games, and they will have uh, higher criteria. 
and now we're at the third floor. Let's play the Galaga one. And you play the challenging stage. You have to get a certain amount of enemies destroyed. I just need to destroy 24. You get double ships, which is super nice. I didn't do so well on this. I used to be really good at the uh, uh, bonus stage on Galaga. I think they incorporate uh, other bonus stages. Yeah. Into this one. Yeah, that bonus stage was from a later level in Galaga. Or a later stage. But I uh, made it again. Now I get to choose one last... One last level. And they call this very hard for the easy uh, stage. What should I go with? We'll take a look at every single game that you can play. And we'll go with this one. You have to hit the samurai with... Uh, I don't know if you have just one shot. Oh, you have three shots. And you have to hit, hit him through a crowd of guys. It's not easy. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And we beat the tower. And when you get fastest time or whatever, you get to put in your initials. Congratulations, you have rescued your friends. And I get a bonus for doing different types of stages, not the same one over and over again. This tower is conquered. But you are un unable to find the witch or your brother. You can't find them in the easy setting. Captured brother is in medium tower. And this is game over. You will get an actual ending to the medium stage, you know, with, with credits. But this is Tinko Mori shooting. I don't know how widespread this was in the U.S. Probably not very at all. But let's take a look at the other stages that you can choose in the easy setting. Multiply cells into 30 parts. You just shoot it over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Yeah, some enemies can shoot you, whoops, like there. You'll just waste a little bit of precious time, but I still shot him enough. Yep. And then uh, here's another stage you can choose. Hit ten hearts to your honey. You sh try to shoot hearts to this gal at the top of the screen. Watch out for the people that can get in the way. This stage is pretty easy, or at least this uh, criteria is very low. But once you fulfill it, that stage will end. And now this one is you trying to protect your uh, rice from uh, descending crows. They might be able to swoop off with the, the rice, but you can shoot them and they'll drop it. And that's all there is to this uh, level. It looks like they're dropping poop on you. <laughs> but here's another level, and this is kind of cool. You try to uh, feed uh, sushi to this guy behind the counter there. And you have to shoot the right, the right kind of sushi to him. And you can do more than just the required criteria of correct food. I forget the name of that type of uh, sushi restaurant, but very uh, popular in Japan. It has a conveyor belt with the food on it. Now, this game we have to shoot 120 airplanes. Sounds harder than it is. Just, just keep shooting as fast you can and weaving back and forth and you should make it through this level easy enough. Even after it says zero it gives you a, a little bit of time to get more. <laughs> yeah, I definitely met the criteria there. Now uh, in this one you have to catch 18 falling metals and certain enemies you destroy will drop metals. You have to collect 18 in time. 
And you can get a nice uh, power up. But uh, yeah, this is a lot like Point Blank, except this is like a shoot 'em up, not a uh, light gun game. Uh, I definitely got it with that little burst there of uh, falling metals. And now in this one, you have to destroy 20 UFOs. And with a UFO shot, it can make a chain reaction and destroy other UFOs in the group. I think I'm definitely going to uh, meet the criteria in this one. This one's really, really easy. <laughs> wow, it's very easy. <laughs> yeah, 67. Success. And now this one is, I think, the volcano. Yeah, you destroy... 80 UFOs with your volcano's eruption. You have to rotate the joystick multiple times and build it up and when it's looking ready to blow you hit the button and you'll blow rocks all over the place and take out the UFOs. Wait until there's a bunch above me. There we go. Yeah this one's pretty easy. 120 UFOs, yeah. I definitely met the criteria. Now in this one, it's almost like Frogger. You have to watch oncoming traffic and get close enough to the building and blast it multiple times. You have to do it enough to make the building destroyed completely. Very easy. And once you meet the criteria, that stage ends. Now this time we're going to have to destroy three battleships and these are big battleships. You have to hit them enough shots with enough shots to make them destroyed and then uh, you'll have met the criteria. Yeah, with uh, medium or harder or uh, settings or if you repeatedly play the same stage, the criteria will change and get more demanding. Now uh, this level, or this uh, game here, you have to shoot a huge battleship 150 times. It's really not all that hard. You have to watch out for his firepower, because again, you don't, you don't lose a life or lose a heart or whatever, but you'll lose precious time because your ship will be destroyed, and you have to wait for it to uh, regenerate. But yeah, this boss is pretty easy. Just shoot him enough and he's destroyed. Still had 11 seconds left. And now here is the last uh, scenario in the easy mode. And I... Okay, you have to shoot and answer four questions. Kind of cool. Arithmetic, and you have to shoot the number that is correct. Three plus one, four, so shoot the four. There we go. 8 minus 5, 3. 9 minus 7, 2. There we go. Pretty easy. And there we go. You can't accidentally shoot the wrong number. And then, uh, going on to medium, I believe this is medium, there's a, uh, shoot the tanks level or no this is this is also easy this is a shoot the tanks you have to shoot enough tanks to uh, advance did I shoot enough yeah twice as many as I needed now this is the mediums the medium scenario um, we'll look at all the levels of medium setting Destroy all the cockroaches. That's one game. You have to spray all the cockroaches that appear in your restaurant. Yeah, this is this is cute. I like this game. But boy, the uh, medium is so much harder than easy. And hard is just about impossible for me. 
Success. And it's my monkey reacting after he beat uh, the first the first part of uh, medium. But yeah, at the end of medium, you'll have to face a golem. So you go up one floor at a time, just like an easy. But there's there's a uh, six stages you have to beat to get to the end. Here's another level. This is a shoot the mouth 440 times to defeat it. I'm just scooting forward a little bit. You have to dodge the oncoming uh, bullets and watch out for that laser coming out of his mouth. And you have to turn the screen around so you can shoot his mouth. The stage is very hard. Now this one... What is this one? Oh yeah, you're a Cupid and you have to shoot 20 apples and make sure you shoot your color and you have to shoot the red apples, not the green ones. You shoot a green one and that'll deduct from your score. Definitely don't want to do that. But that's that's what you do on this level. I'm uh, not nearly good enough. But that's how that level is played out. Now we'll look at this one. And in this one, you have to shoot all three totem poles enough so that they're destroyed. Destroy all totem poles. And you, you know, with each each uh, stage, you have often a different time limit than uh, on other stages. Will I make it? Hold still, damn it. Oh, I did. I got hit, but didn't matter. Success. Now this time, this is the Xevious, uh, Andro... What's his name? And... Andor Genesis. You have to defeat the giant fortress, and he's much easier in this than he was in Xevious. Just time your bomb correctly, and you'll destroy him. Success. Yeah, all the other stages that I didn't show you on medium were the same as in uh, easy. You'd already seen those. And in this one, you have to eat eight bugs by shooting it down. You have to shoot the bugs off the... What are they on? Trees? And then you have to guide, guide your creature to them to eat them. Your fish or whatever it is. Yeah. So you use the joystick when you shot it down and then go over and touch the fish to eat them, or the bugs to eat them. Did I make it? Yep, I got nine. But once you, uh, once you defeat the medium, or, or get to the top, then the witch appears and makes a golem attack you, and the golem is just insanely hard. You have to shoot it enough times to destroy it. And its arms can shoot at you, its head can shoot at you. It's just really hard. 260 times, oh my god, it's hard. I'll just show you a snippet of me playing. But yeah, it's shooting lasers and stuff at you, and you gotta be very nimble. It's hard to dodge those. You might want to take out his arms first, because they can punch you. Yeah, I got... I got punched. Really frickin' hard. <laughs> God damn it! But once you... once you beat him... Then, uh, See, he's still functional. Even without arms. He's just such a pain in the ass. But if you beat him, then he's destroyed and then you've beaten the medium area but your uh, your brother was it your brother monkey still gets abducted to the hard castle and the witch escapes and again you can get a nice big bonus for beating all different levels or uh, all different games yep the witch lived and kidnapped your brother again captured brother is in hard tower now it's kind of cool, during the uh, credits sequence, you can shoot the credits for extra points. It's kind of cool with the uh, Galaxian spaceship. 
<laughs> it's a cool, cool little idea there. But uh, now we'll look at some of the games from the hard uh, difficulty, ones that we did not see yet in easy or medium. And here you have to shoot these uh, these enemy guys in this factory, and you have to shoot them when when uh, it's clear, when there's not stuff in your way. And these guys will sometimes hide. They'll be moving around. <laughs> Crap, yeah, I'm really bad at this. But that's what this, uh, this stage is like. I didn't quite make it. Failure. You lose one life, or one uh, heart if you fail. Now let's look at uh, another game here. This one's, this one I can't beat either. You have to destroy these two ginormous tanks and you have to shoot them enough. 140 frickin' times to destroy both huge tanks. It takes forever to destroy them. And uh, if you don't destroy one in time, it will back off and you won't have a chance to uh, get it again. God damn it. Screw you, buddy. And they keep destroying me, so I have to wait until I regenerate. But that's what that level is like. And then this one, you have one single bomb to drop. You have to take out as many insects as you can. You have to take out 50 with one single bomb. The only chance you have at that is to is to wait until you can kind of group them together. If they touch you, you drop the bomb. Now it's time to drop the bomb. And I don't think I got enough. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I can't beat that. But then uh, when you beat hard, then you have to face the golem again. And then the witch will appear, and you have to destroy her, and she's got these giant robot legs or something. And there she is, shooting stuff at you. Uh, but when you beat her, then you have defeated the witch at last, and you save your brother. Well, that was Tenkomori Shooting by Namco in 1998, suggested by YouTube user Namcot Enterprises. This is Crazy Climber saying thanks for watching Tenkomori Shooting by Namco in 1998. Y'all have a good one, and I will catch you later in the future with another video. Have a good week, everybody, and stay cool. Bye-bye, folks.